When I started in IT, I, um, I actually went to college because that's what you did after you graduated high school. Um, I did not plan on being in IT. I went to college and I went to Michigan Tech to be an electrical engineer because they made lots of money and that was my goal. <laughs> it turns out that I skipped most of my engineering classes. They were doing things in Calculus 3 that I didn't think ever needed to be done with numbers. So I skipped class and went to um, the computer lab and I got that hands-on training because at that point there, there really wasn't um, uh, any college degrees for me. So my, my goal or my, my history is not exactly the best way to go about it now. Um, however, you know, that said, getting the experience in college, if you are in college, I say try really hard to get a job in college, whether you're working in a lab, whether you're, you know, volunteering, uh, whether you're an intern, something, if you're in college getting a degree, that's awesome and get some work experience while you're there. That work experience is invaluable. Myself, I ended up dropping out of my college class and starting a business because there just wasn't anything there um, where I could get the vocational training, I could get the college training, but now there are opportunities. So I think that's the way to go. Certification, um, Linux specifically, I'm, I'm a Linux nerd. Uh, Linux certification exists now. It didn't back in, in that day. There was, there was no standard by which you could um, say, yes, I'm a Linux expert. It was just how geeky you were and, and how well you could make a system work. But now I really suggest going through and, and learning since there's opportunities available. So I, you know, I can tell you this is the way I did it when I was going up through the ranks, but I, I don't know that it's an ideal way to go about it. Um, the, only, the only thing that I think I learned along the way is that getting experience in whatever way you can is awesome, whether it's volunteering, whether it's a minimum wage job in a college lab, whatever it is you can do to get that experience um, taking the, the CBT Nuggets series that I'm starting now, the real world Linux, where you get some actual troubleshooting skills, you get some of the scenarios you're going to run into in the real world, things like that are really key. And I think that's the, the best way to go about getting a job right now.